welcome my name is Melody from Melody Crochet and this is the 50th episode of my knitting and crochet podcast. I come to you from my home in Texas and share my makes with you. I live here with my husband, my son, my puppies and I just get on here and share my yarn obsessed life. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are keeping from going stir crazy with all the insanity going on and that you're buckled down and staying healthy and strong. Let me know down below what's new with you, what you're making to keep your mind sane. That's what I've been doing. I also have a very large chocolate cake and I just go take a bite whenever I get stressed out. It's not the healthiest way to handle stress, but it helps. It's not going away fast, but there's some times, you know, chocolate cake. As it were, I finished some stuff I wanted to share with you. I don't think I have any other admin. Let me know if I've forgotten anything. But finished objects. My Sierra pullover. She's all done. That's her back. I can tell because I had a little mishap with decreasing. This is the front. This is a free pattern over on the Lion Brand website and they suggested using their Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, which is a super bulky yarn on size 13 needles. And it is exactly what I needed to practice my stranded color work because I was having some real struggles on skinnier yarn doing the stranded color work and carrying these without them being too loose or too tight. And I really got the hang of it by the end. And I'm feeling a lot more confident and a lot happier and I'm ready to move on. Although I need to crochet some stuff because I'm not really a knitter. So, but I'm ready. When I get back into it, I'm ready. And let me show you a video. Here it is. I like the top. That was really fast and easy to do too. That was like four rows. And then it all came together so quickly. The front and the back are the same, although mine has a couple of decrease errors, so that decided that this was gonna be the front. And I like the bottom. I'm all about the cropping, although I could see how somebody with more normal dimensions would want a little bit more length. I'm short-waisted, and I wear high-waist leggings as a rule, 99% of the time, So and jeans. So I'm all about it. It's not an issue for me very little peep through and it's so warm and i still have a waist so i'm pretty pleased with the entire thing i'm really glad i made it and on to the next nine in 2020. Woo! there it go what do you think it's short but so is my waist right so it's okay <laughs> if you have a longer waist i highly suggest perhaps going a little bit longer right before the edge here. I know I had plenty of yarn left over to have done it. I also shortened the sleeves. So this is as suggested. Could have gone another inch or two longer, but I didn't want to, want to because if something hits my hip, like in the middle of my hip, it just makes me look very, very, very boxy. And they wanted me to take these all the way down. And my husband and son were actually very, very rude about it. They're just like, you do not need to have some rib thing all the way down your arm to your wrist in Texas. At no point is that going to be necessary. It does get very cold here, but no. So I'm like, and they were serious too. They're like, don't do that. It's, it looks okay now. And <laughs> let's just stop. And so I did. I did four rows of ribbing instead of taking it all the way down to my wrist. So I have two balls of succulent left over. This is this colorway is called succulent. And then I have purple. I have one ball of purple left over, one ball of petrol, this pretty, pretty blue-green color. And then this is called fisherman. And I have this much yarn left over, which is quite a bit. So I'm thinking my son found something for me at Michael's. Where's my Michael's thing? Uh-oh. It looks like a triangular shawl. There it is. Isn't that pretty? It's just one of those little freebies that you get when you're at Michael's. And it says it takes two balls, like regular ones. So I'm thinking I need one. It's not the super, nope, just the regular sized balls. And it says it takes three hours. Maybe a little longer for me. 
I'm a fast crocheter, but I am a slow knitter. <laughs> and I love it so, so much. Oh my gosh. I'm really glad I made it. Now, I have another finished object. A couple more. Where'd she go? Oh, so I was over in Arkansas inside of Walmart and they had a ton more magazines for crochet than my Walmarts would. So I got this one because I love pineapple crochet. I made tank tops. I remember the first time I made a crochet pineapple, I was making a tank top out of a crochet magazine and I had to make just a pineapple right here and one for the back and then it was straight down and it was, it wasn't enough. It was only two pineapples and I'm like, I need to make more pineapples. Before you knew it, I was an addict. Anything that has a pineapple, I love it because you don't have to worry too much about the sizing. The chains really, all the chaining in a pineapple, how do I say? I don't want to be vague. Where's a pineapple? Here it is. All the little chains in a pineapple really make it adjust in size to wherever you put it which I think is awesome. Pardon me. Oh my gosh. Isn't that beautiful? I need that. What size yarn is that? Premier Yarns Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted. Oh, I've held that. Oh, how beautiful. So any worsted weight could do that. How much of it? Seven skeins, 113 grams per hank, so 200, so that's 1,400. So what's that, like four balls of Red Heart Super Saver? Done. I'm, I'm sure I should use the yarn they suggest, but I have a lot of Red Heart Super Saver in Karen Simply Soft, so when I can use it, I do. <gasps> this blanket with these little pineapples. I think we've all seen that around, but lovely to have it in a magazine so available with other pineapple projects. And this edging, hello. Oh, so pretty. Edging is great with pineapples because like I said, it's going to lay wherever you want it to and lay flat because of all the chains involved. It just kind of goes where it's supposed to. It's, it has a mind of its own. It's wonderful. <gasps> Little earrings. She looks kind of stricken by her earrings, but hey, those are pretty. So as you can see, I love the magazine. Let's get you back up here. There you go. So as you can see, I love the magazine and I wanted to make a project in it. Boop, boop, boop. Where's my peacock? And there he is. There is my magical peacock. Isn't he beautiful? To look at him, you'd think he was rather large because I always see these and I think worsted weight yarn, but he's not worsted weight. He's size 10 thread. That's the back. I just kind of tied him on for now. I wanted to make then make him oh there he goes make him and then see where he lands and steam him out before sewing him on or gluing him on or whatever i end up doing <laughs> i'm not a purist here if i have to fabric glue a peacock on i will because you make the whole half and all these pineapples and then you just make the peacock separately and then you glue him on okay sew him on they said sew with needle and thread I just tied him on. I didn't want to put him anywhere where he would pucker. I just thought he looked lovely just like this. And he's not going to get a whole lot of washing. Now, you might have already noticed my problem with my peacock. I'll show him to you otherwise. But let me show you the picture first because I took some, some pictures of my peacock. I'm pretty proud of him. He took me about four days. Thread is no joke, my friends. And this pattern is, this is one and two page, and then there's another two pages in the back. And every single row is different, except for maybe one or two repeat once. So this was not like something you can just watch TV and do. Although I did watch The Mandalorian for a good portion of it. Oh my gosh, I love it so 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 much I, I should put it on a sweatshirt i could make it a tank top what do you think a little fabric backing i don't know i don't know but i'm pretty proud of him i love him 
<laughs> they wanted me to bead for his eyes, but I don't have beads and I'm not going to the store. So unless I find some beads in my moving mess or I, I don't know, I have no idea. His little French knot eye is gonna have to do. And I'm pretty pleased with him. Let me know down below, what do you think? Do you doily? I love doilies. I'm not gonna lie. I just love a doily. Um, you know how you see those baskets when you go to, not thrift shops, but like antique shops, full of doilies that people made? Oh, I could go through those for hours. I love doilies. And the pearl cotton, this is size 10 pearl cotton. So those tiny little skeins of twisted shiny cotton that you see by the embroidery thread. But this was the only turquoisey kind of blue that they had. And I wanted the bright green because their coloring is very different. They have a really muted medium green and they have a dark purpley blue. It's actually two blues. It's like a lighter purpley blue and a navy blue, but I just got one turquoise. And this is supposed to be like a warm gold. And I went with orange because I know that that will fit my decor a whole lot better. And then purple. That's as close to purple as they had. It's kind of that red, red blue, what do they call it? Red violet. But I'm okay with that. I don't think I'll make another one because this was a whole lot of work, but I love it very, very, very much. I wanted to suggest if you do do these and you haven't before and you're working with the pearl cotton, I get a grippy crochet hook. I open up the skein and I just twirl it around this so I can work from this. I don't suggest working from the skein because it's it's tedious and very quickly you will end up with a knot. And I just have one for every color. I got to the very end of this green. I actually need more of this green. Love it so much though. Hmm. Julie King, I love her hats. I've had this pattern forever. I should probably weave this in. Not sure why I didn't weave this in. I had this ball of Katarina from Yarn B. And it's so pretty. And oh my gosh, it's got a little bit of tensile, so it has a nice shine to it. There's no wool, it's all acrylic and tensile. Isn't that just beautiful? This time of year, I love a snood because it gets my hair back off my neck. I can work with it. I just pin them in place and I'm good for the day. And this one by Julie King has a heart. <laughs> It's a star. <laughs> Told you I'm crazy right now. But it has a star. It's her star beanie and it's got the webbing. I like hers for this and I wanted to make hats out of all of my random yarn. So I grabbed this ball first and it used so little that I'm making a second one. I got through the star. This one's gonna look so much different. It's the same ball of yarn, but it's just starting at a different place. So this one's gonna have the light purple, and this one's got the dark purple. And I'm using, what size, G? Yeah, a G hook. And it's really kept me amused when, I'm, when I couldn't read the pattern for the peacock doily, because it was a lot of reading. But yeah, I have that much left, more than enough. I weighed more than enough to make a second hat. I have one other finished object. Where's Hunter? Hmm. I don't have a picture. I'll try and get one to insert. But I made Hunter a unicorn. Because I wanted to. It's just an ear warmer. Something to put into the winter clothes and to smile about when I open up my winter clothes next year because we're getting them all boxed up right now. It's just a little ear warmer for them, the dogs. If it's both of them now, no idea if it'll fit dig if it'll fit Dixie next winter. She's growing so much. But look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Red Heart Super Saver. Like I said, I have a ton of it. And I just grabbed some and went for it. It just made me happy. It looks a little silly on, but it's so cute and they're my babies. I think that's about it for what I've been making, which is pretty good. I had some distraction with the whole selling the house thing. It was pretty insane for a couple days. We were going back and forth whether it was right or wrong, plus I had to decide 
how worried I'm going to be. And then I told myself, I have no control over this nonsense. Just being as smart as I can, as considerate as I can, and paying attention to the news, which I don't suggest it. I went to Walmart the other day and lost faith in humanity. I had to come home and watch a lot of my crochet and knitting podcasts to get back into my mental space because it was, I cried. I had no idea how bad it was out there. I always online shop for my groceries. I hadn't been in a grocery store and it was very, very overwhelming to see how empty our stores were. <laughs> I was told afterward that TikTok is where I should have been looking because I've been watching the news and they aren't telling us anything like that. So I'm told I need to watch TikTok. So I have the app, but I haven't been watching it for this. I watch it for cute puppy videos. Gracious. Mm. But if you are on TikTok, I'm Melody Crochet. Add me. Now, a couple things before I get into the yarn that I bought, the what have I done. I got a present from my mother-in-law. It's a trivet. She sewed that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. I love it. It's going right in with my summer decor. But yeah, I can put a pot on it, assuming the pot is completely clean and probably empty around the men in my home. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. <laughs> I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I can't imagine putting any kind of food on it. Maybe a glass of water. I can be a coaster for a glass of water or my hot water kettle, as long as it's only got water in it. But she's so sweet and she's such an amazing seamstress. It actually opens up. Have you guys seen these? That is so cool. That is so cool. I don't know how it was made, but it's brilliant and beautiful and lots of layers. And I bought myself a little present on eBay. It was $9. And this woman sews these beautiful bags. I'll try to link if I can. I'm sure I can. I just have to look on eBay. I had her card. And, oh, I do have her card. So, retirement fund. How adorable is that? <laughs> so I'm guessing she's retired. And she says crochet, embroidery, sewing, vintage, Indian, ethnic, and more. And her name's Alka Goyle. And she's on eBay at Retirement Fund, F-U-N-N-E-D. She's in Minnesota and she has just the best priced bags and these beautiful vintage fabrics. I love vintage fabric. So it's, this is perfect for my spring makes because I told you I want to make some socks. I think this will be great for that. Maybe my hat too if I take it off this, but this keeps it safe from the dog. So I don't know, as it were. Isn't that gorgeous? I'm so glad I got it. It was $9. She had it in, in my hot little hands in no time at all. I love it very much. You go, Alka. And then, yarn-wise. I was at Michael's. Loops and Threads has cotton colors. Gracious. That's so pretty. It needs to be a market bag for this summer. I'm probably going to do... There was a ton of it. So you're probably going to be hearing pretty quickly a review. I'll go ahead and video casting on, do a little swatch. If you have any questions about this, let me know down below and I'll check for that too while I'm testing it out. But I have 10 questions when I review yarn that are things I'd want to know before buying yarn online because I know we're all buying yarn online right now. So <laughs> worsted weight you get, is that 394 yards? A worsted weight? Yep, medium size four. 394 yards. That's a ton. That's like two bags. Beautiful. And that purple, it just makes me smile. And then I got something else new. This was at Joann's. And it's called Basic Stitch by Lion Brand. I love the color, the cerulean. What do you guys think? Have you used this? It looked like they're going through it quite quickly. I have a feeling I'm not the first one to use this. It said size four medium, but it looks really, really skinny in my opinion. So this will definitely be something I try out with you guys. It reminds me a lot of the Stylecraft DK. I'm just curious if it'll be very similar. So we'll do a little comparison. 
And that's that as far as my purchases. I was pretty tame. I've been hanging out close to home. If you guys have seen anything that you think I need to try, please let me know. I'm very curious and I'm wanting, I'm wanting to make a million things right now because I gotta keep my hands busy. For me, the next two days, I'm gonna have the puppy that we're babysitting and then when she goes home, the house is on the market. So crazy. I have so much cleaning to do. Yesterday we swapped a lot of furniture and now I have to make the house tidy. Cause once you move everything, there's just a pile of wrong everywhere. I wish you could see it. I have, oh my gosh. So I am thinking of you guys. I'll be in contact very quickly. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Have a great day. Bye.